What's going on guys, my name is Kerry, and today I've got a real treat for you. A while back, I posted a video doing a quick tour of a 792 square foot home we'd set up on a lot. Everything was going fine until the video got over 100,000 views and I started getting comments of all these people who were up in arms that I didn't post the price. If you're new to the channel, I live in a very expensive housing market and every time I post the price, People get upset and tell me what they think they're worth. The reality is they're worth what they're worth. I'm not lying about the price and I understand they're worth different amounts in different areas. So anyway, I stopped posting the prices on my videos because I felt like the price pushback in the comments was taking away from what I was actually trying to do, which was show people different manufactured homes. You can't post videos on the internet and expect everyone to agree with everything you say or do. So I was fine with the fact that some people were unhappy that I didn't post the price on my videos. We listed the home, it sold on the first day and I thought, okay, I'll share the price and everyone will be happy. Well, people didn't like it when I didn't share the price. Then they didn't like it when I did share the price. So it got me thinking there has to be places in the States that have way more expensive manufactured homes than what I'm doing. So I went down a rabbit hole and basically looked at all of the manufactured home listings all across North America. And let me tell you, there are some very cool homes for sale. After hours of window shopping, I picked out three that I want to share because they really stand out and not just because of the price. Although the prices may shock you, all three have been extensively renovated and one even comes with a massive barn dominium. I didn't even know that was a thing before this. Anyway, enough chitter chatter, let's get to it. If you want to check out any of the listings, I will put the link in the description below. The first home is a 1961 two bedroom, one bathroom located in Malibu, California. It's in a manufactured home park called Paradise Cove that's apparently very sought after and is even in a bunch of movies. Paradise Cove has a guarded gate entrance, a clubhouse, basketball courts, tennis courts, and sits on a bluff with access to the beach. Let's check it out. I like the look of that metal siding. I wonder if the golf cart comes with the sale. So this has all been added up after the fact. Everything on the left here is an addition and they've taken out the entire wall that would have been the original mobile home. So that's cool because now it's open from the living room entrance area to the kitchen and look at this kitchen. They have totally gutted and redone this place. So they've got a window. I wonder if there's a view out that window. It doesn't look like it. Oh, it's just the neighbors. Look at that backsplash though. So nice. You've got the gas range, beautiful kitchen, pot lights in the ceiling. You know, I'm a big fan of that. So we're going to spin around here. I think this is the dining room. I really like that chandelier that just kind of goes with the whole theme of the house. Such a cool look. So now we've got the living room on the left and look at all the windows and natural light in this house. So nice. And it's kind of indoor outdoor living because you got double doors going out to the patio where you got the palm trees, barbecue out there and you, they've got the furniture set up. This is such a cool house. I wonder if there's an, okay. Another look at the addition and then you spin around, you've got double doors into the master bedroom. That is so cool. You don't see that very often, double doors into the master, and it just works so well with the theme of this house with the indoor outdoor living. So out of the master, you might even have a little bit of a peekaboo, peekaboo ocean view. Look at this bathroom. This is absolutely huge. They must have taken space out of something else and put it towards that bathroom because that doesn't make sense for the size of the house. Okay, you got your washer dryer in there. You come down the hall and this is the second bedroom. So no doors on the second bedroom, which is a little bit strange, but you could always add them if you wanted them. It's a, it's a decent sized bedroom. It's not huge, but it works. You come out of the bedroom and you're back in the kitchen. There's the dining room with that cool chandelier. I like this place. Oh, look at the windows up top. That's cool. Um, you go back, this whole place is open so much natural light and just the whole thing's just a vibe. I would definitely, be very pleased if this was my house. They did such a good job on this place. According to realtor.com, that home sold last year for 
$50,000 and is currently up for sale for $1,175,000. Next, we are heading over to Colorado. I found a 1984 two bedroom, two bathroom sitting on 2.96 acres. It's been completely remodeled throughout. It's got new floors, updated bathrooms, new windows, new paint inside and out, new covered porch with metal railings, you name it, it's got it. So let's check it out and wait till you see the added bonus that comes with this place. Here's the outside of the house. It doesn't say in the listing, but from what I can tell, it looks to be about 70 feet long. That would be my guess. I like the covered porch that they added. I think it's 15 by nine, which is good size. Now going inside, they've kind of done it like cottage feel. So you got the hickory everywhere, hickory on the floor, the cabinets. And the only thing that I don't love so far is the carpet, but it's not my house. And some people love carpet, so I'm not here to judge. This bathroom is cool. I like the walk-in shower. They did a good job with that. Going through ceiling fans, nice. See, I wouldn't, I just wish there wasn't carpet. Oh, the entertainment center, they've, they've done like a whole Colorado feel. I've never been to Colorado, but from what I hear, it's kind of all about outdoorsy mountain type stuff. So I think they hit the mark with this place and it looks cool. I like it, but getting to the added bonus of this place, check out what comes with this house, the barn dominium. I've never heard of this before, but look at this. Look at this place. So I think what they did was they liked to camp. So they built something that they can actually live in the motorhome all year round. So they back the motorhome into this barn dominium and they've got outdoor kitchen that's actually indoors. They've got an outdoor shower that's actually indoors. So it's like they're camping all year round in Colorado, but really they're in kind of a warehouse. That was the added bonus and one of the reasons I really wanted to show this place off because this is just so unique and not something you see every day. That fully renovated home on almost three acres with the enormous Barnuminium could be yours for $600,000. That actually seems like a pretty good deal for everything you're getting, the land, the Barnuminium, the home. It's a package deal. Finally, last but not least, we're headed back to Malibu. We're going back to Paradise Cove. This place is listed with the same guy who has the listing on the first place that I showed. And when I did a little bit of digging, I found out that he's brokered three of the five all time highest sales in Paradise Cove. So apparently he's kind of the guy out there. Shout out to Ren Smith. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom that's been renovated from top to bottom and has an absolutely insane ocean view. I really like this blue with the wood door, it just kind of pops. And from the deck, look at the view you get of the Pacific Ocean. Whoever remodeled this double wide knows exactly what they're doing. I would have to say this is the nicest remodeled manufactured home I've ever seen. Look at the blue cabinets on the bottom. You got the cream cabinets up top against a white backsplash. It looks absolutely perfect. Whoever did this really needs to be winning awards. Saying that, they've probably got a whole shelf full of awards. Those wood floors, again, so cool. This must be the master bedroom. You've got a sliding glass door out to the deck with the ocean view. You've got the baby blue walls in the ensuite with the gray lower cabinets, again, they didn't miss anything in this place. It's so well done. Look at the detail in the walk-in shower. Ridiculous. So there's another bedroom. You got the second bathroom and finally the third bedroom there. I love this place. There's what you get when you live in Paradise Cove. Look at that. They're saying it's the nicest manufactured home park in all of the USA. And I would say it's gonna to be tough to argue that. If you wanna buy that home, it can be yours for a cool 3.9 million dollars. All right, let me know which of the three is your favorite. Money aside, I think I'm going with the first one, the beachy single wide with the outdoor shower. Looks like good living to me. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, hit the subscribe button because I've got new videos every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.